Pastor Rick, welcome back Hi. to hey, welcome back to another episode of Living by the Book. Thank uh, you. This episode is brought to you by Lacroix, uh, <laughs> specifically the lemon flavor. It's naturally essence, whatever that means. Uh, this past weekend was Father's Day. I wasn't here. I was I was actually driving other people's kids back from Salt Lake City, which go. was great. Didn't see my own kids, but saw a lot of other kids. It was it was really nice. Uh, no, we had a great time. I'm just kidding. Uh, but it, it was Father's Day. I, I heard you preach. You preached a great Father's Day message. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about, um, you know, that we have a lot of a lot of fathers in our church, and actually a lot of a ton of young families are expecting babies. Yeah. There's like something like fourteen. Yes, ex- there was a picture or something. They took they took a picture of all the expectant mothers. Yeah, from the date of the most recent, the the, the nearest right. uh, due date, always right. the most remote due date. Right, and had them lined up accordingly yeah, that's awesome. and it was it was phenomenal to see it and i'm saying yeah. praise god yeah for all these children oh yeah and moms so you know that got me thinking there's there's a lot of dads with little kids uh you're not a dad with little kids anymore you're a grandpa with little grandkids yeah um the reward for not killing your own. <laughs> right. That's At least what, not all of them. That's right? what they say. The grandchildren is God's reward for not having killed your own kids. <laughs> well, that's why you have multiple kids. Yeah, right? that's right. Um, I thought it'd be interesting for you to share, you know, as you think about fatherhood, what were some of, you know, what are the, the key that, or the, the most important characteristics of a father? And I'd like, I'd like for you to frame it as, you know, what were the... What were the characteristics that you wanted to emulate from your dad? Mm. And then what would be the characteristics that, in you that you would want your kids to emulate? And maybe you can even share the one that you, you wouldn't want to. Remind me to do that. Yeah. Um, I know it's hard to find the negative. But no, 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 no. no. I, no I got it. I, it takes me time to select which because <laughs> uh, you only gave me the yeah, one. Uh, no, um, no one. So I, I would say, first of all, that... Uh, the, the things that I receive from my dad are the very thing, same things I would like to pass on to okay. my children. Okay. Um, I I had a what I would consider to be a consummate mm. father. Yeah. Um, probably from my point of view, um, it's I'm hard pressed to find fault. Yeah. Sure. He struck me one time in anger. It's memorable. Mm. Um, of course, I deserved it. <laughs> I stabbed my sister with a fork under the table when during prayer <laughs> she took the piece of meat that I wanted. Oh, okay. Yeah, and sure. Uh, sure she I stabbed her. Stabbed her under the table. <laughs> and my dad Oh you know, man. One time he got angry and hit me, <laughs> sent me away from the table. He immediately came up and asked my forgiveness. Yeah. You know. Sure. So that was the only time he struck mm-hmm. me in anger. Now he spanked me, sure, but there's a difference between chastisement and corporal punishment, right. right? And striking someone in anger, yeah. There's sure. there's a big difference. Sure, you should never strike your child in anger. Yeah, attribute um, number one. Yeah, yeah, one. yeah. You never want to do that. Yeah, uh, but I would say uh, th- that there are. Th- let's just select three things about my yeah. dad that. I would identify as uh, virtues that shaped my life, mm-hmm. which then I sought to instill into my children all. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, the first is that he was committed. Um, I think that he was committed to the Lord, first of all, mm-hmm. committed to my mom, second of all. Yeah. And we knew he was committed to us. Yeah. He was... Um, committed to our nurturing. He was committed to our admonitions. He was uh, committed to our discipline, committed to our character, committed to our um, uh, formulation as individuals to learn work ethic and responsibility and so on. Mm -hmm. So he's very committed to us. We knew it. We knew it. Yeah. We were important to him. He was committed. Mm -hmm. And I... I never uh, pined for my father's attention. I never had to uh, act out to get it. I never had to wonder whether he would be at events that were important to me. Right. He would be there. Right. If there's any way he could be. Yeah, if at all he would be. Possible. Yeah. And, you know, I knew when he would not be. Mm-hmm. I never looked into the stands to see if my dad right. would come. Right. Ever. He yeah. was a big fan. He was yeah. committed. He was, he was just committed. I knew that um, when he said something, he kept his word. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So I never had to wonder whether he would follow through, mm -hmm. you know, which leads me to the second one, which was he's consistent. Mm. Um, what Are these going to be alliterated? Yes. Yeah, there. What, <laughs> what he, <laughs> what he um, said uh, was wrong, was always wrong. So it mm. wasn't like it was wrong right. today, but tomorrow it's going to be okay. Yeah, sure. Or it's not okay today, and tomorrow it's going to be wrong. Right. Yeah, he was consistent. Um, he was consistent in his priorities. We knew he was, and, and in that sense, in his consistency, uh, there was predictability about sure. him. We knew sure. what he would say yeah. before he ever said it yeah. because he was consistent in what he uh, thought and did. Um, so uh, his consistency provided us security. Mm -hmm. In the in, in the ability to anticipate him, right. Um, so I I remember one time where I got into a situation where actually I was at a friend's house and I uh, saw some pornography mm. and I felt horrible. Sure. And I went back and immediately told my dad. That's the kind of re relationship I had. Yeah. I could do that because he was predictable. Mm. I didn't say, I wonder what he's going to do, I wonder what he's right. going to there say. Right, there was a fear of the unknown. Uh, is he going to blow up? Is he going to, you know, is he going to yeah. be irrational? And just, yeah. No, 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 I could go back and I could tell him, Dad, I feel horrible, here's what happened. Mm -hmm. And he spoke to me as a loving father. Mm -hmm. So I, he didn't call me an idiot, he never, he never was uh, demeaning, uh, derogative yeah. in his treatment of me, I never was called names by him or anything. Um, so he was very consistent. So he was committed to us. We knew it. He was consistent in how he treated us. Yeah. And then I would have to say the third characteristic is his compassion. Mm. He loved us. Yeah. Um, he loved us physically. In other words, um, there was a there was an ability to look back and recall physical affection. Yeah. Whether it's a hug, whether it's a, a kiss from my father. Yeah. I remember. Even one of the last times I saw him when he was well, mm. um, he kissed me, mm. you know. Yeah. And only a matter of months later, he died. Yeah. Um, but he, he wanted to kiss me. So mm. uh, he was demonstrative in his compassion. Mm. He was compassionate in um, his treatment of us in the sense of being um, fair in discipline. You know, so mm -hmm. even in his discipline, he was compassionate. Mm -hmm. uh, he was compassionate in the desire to let us know him, I think, which is, I think, part of what compassion um, does. It, it provides a certain transparency and, and, and vulnerability mm -hmm. as you show a form of, of others' mindedness as right. opposed to making it all about yourself. I right. mean, that passage in, Ephes in excuse me, Hebrews chapter 12, where it says, we had earthly fathers to discipline us, mm -hmm. and we respected them. Shall we not much rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they, referring to our earthly fathers, disciplined us for a short time as seemed best to them. But he disciplines us for our good, mm -hmm. so that we may share his holiness and i think that's part of what made my father a good father is that i know i knew that what seemed good to him was also for our good mm -hmm. so it wasn't right. for his convenience right he didn't he he didn't uh ever discipline us because we embarrassed him or mm -hmm. because we inconvenienced him right. or right any of those kind of things right so there there wasn't a um a sense of uh, selfishness on his part at mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. in his treatment of us. Yeah. But it was for our own good. And we knew it was for our own mm -hmm. good. Um, so I, I think those are our are, are characteristics that yeah. um, I looked at and saw my father that I said, wow, um, I had a great dad. Yeah. Um, you know, he wasn't perfect, obviously. He, he, he probably overlooked things that sure. he shouldn't have, and he permitted things he shouldn't have. Sure. I mean, I had complete free reign as a high school kid dating a girl. 
I had a curfew. That was it. Yeah. I could do anything, go anywhere. Right. You know, unchaperoned and yeah. un, un, you know, just and it, it was I, I never let my children do that. <laughs> so um, you know, I can't say that he was perfect. Sure. But he was as perfect as a human being was probably gonna be, mm. you know, in yeah. that regard. So I'm yeah. I'm very grateful for my dad and yeah. and in that that does several things. Number one, it places a huge um accountability sure on me sure because too much is given much is required yeah sure so if god granted me that kind of of father i have a responsibility that that um uh is is attendant to that gift mm -hmm. that i can't ignore or uh I, I'll, I'll just incur culpability if i you know, neglect the if you benefits. Botch it, yeah. yeah, if I botch it, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I know that. I, hmm. I, I feel it. So, those are the characteristics that I turn around and try to display to my children. Yeah, sure. And of course, I don't think that I did as good a job as my father did in those things. I, even though probably my kids would look back and with a so, so with a certain romanticized recollection, right? Because right. sure. you tend to forget. Mm -hmm. You know, the negative and, and, and when things are primarily good, yeah. you tend to forget the negative yeah. and emphasize yeah. the positive. Yeah. Sometimes when things are primarily bad, right. you, you forget the positive that. and you all only yeah, remember sure. the negative, right? Sure. So, um, but I, I would say that the likelihood is that mm -hmm. I've done that with my father yeah, and uh, my children tend to do that with me too. So, yeah. um, you know, I remember when we had little children and my wife was just vexed over how are we going to rear these children? How are they ever going to turn out? Because mm -hmm. as their sin natures were beginning to display themselves. Sure. And, and it's so alarming because you can't change it. I yeah. mean, you, sure. there's nothing you can do to tinker with their heart to make them better. Right. They are what they are, yeah. and they're sinful. Yeah. And, you know, they need Christ. I just texted my son this morning, William, and said, you know, in my prayers, I prayed for Penny's salvation. Mm. She's the sweetest little thing, but she needs the Lord. Yeah. And he texted me back, says, boy, thanks, Dad. Does she ever? <laughs> exclamation mark, exclamation yeah. mark, exclamation mark. Right? <laughs> so um, there, there is that uh, distress that mm -hmm. young parents know. Yep. And my wife said, how, how are we going to know uh, what to do? And I says, well, I think it's, uh, for me, it's it's pretty simple. We need to love them and be consistent. Mm -hmm. So that's the compassion yep. and the consistency. Right, right. So that they can see that we are committed to them. Right. And those three things, the commitment, the compassion, and the consistency mm -hmm. uh, is going to be what carries us through it and allows God to do a work in their hearts yeah. to bring them to Christ. Right. So right. those are the three things that, Pat and I turned around and sought to infuse into our parenting mm -hmm. so that our children would always know dad loves me. Yeah. He is committed to me. Dad is compassionate and fair minded. Mm. And I can talk to him about anything. Yeah. And he's consistent. Yeah. I can predict what he'll say and yeah. do. Yeah. Um, and I aspired for those things, yeah, you sure. know, in, in my rearing of my children and, and, um, you know, typically parents want to know what to do. Yeah, sure. Right. What do I do? Right. What, what can I do? Right. And I, I, for me, I didn't concern myself with asking the question, what should I do? For me, the key is what should I be hmm. as a dad? Right. So the ontology. Uh, it's the study of being or existence. Just yeah. Pretty much. Uh, what, what, I, what I am yeah. would naturally produce what I do. Yeah. Right. So if you're just looking at the superficial and what you do mm -hmm. and you're not concerning yourself with who you are or the right. ontology of it. Right. There's going to be... Mm -hmm. That's good. A level of superficiality in what you do. Right. Right. And a trend and um, what's the word? Um, uh, a transparency where your children who are very perceptive mm -hmm. are going to see that 
what yeah. you are doesn't necessarily doesn't drive what you're doing. You're yeah. kind of either being dutiful or yeah. you're being, you know, you're trying to do something. Yeah. But if you are what you need to be, and ontologically you are filled with integrity. Yeah. So that you are committed to them. You are compassionate toward them. You are consistent mm -hmm. in your sentiments and attitudes and priorities and so on. If that's what you are, then what you do is going to pretty much take care of itself. Right. right? Now, that's not the immediate, what do I do, though, in this particular situation? Yeah, sure. Which a lot of parents are looking for, even fathers sure. may be looking for. Yeah, sure. Um, and sometimes it's appropriate to provide them, okay, here's what I would do. Yeah. My kids yeah. call me and say, Dad, what do I do? Right. I have this situation. What do I do? Um, and we would give them recollections mm -hmm. of what we did. Mm -hmm. But I can't remember a lot of what we did. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't because... It, w it wasn't strategic in the sense that we're going to do this, produce that. Right. It was in the moment right. who I was right. produced what I did. Yeah. In the moment, because you're committed, consistent, yeah. compassionate, you responded this yeah. way. Depending so, on the situation. You know, yeah. my, my kid's crying uh, mm -hmm. and won't stay in the bed. Yeah. Dad, what'd you do? Uh, <laughs> boy, I don't remember what yeah. I did. Yeah, uh, because so much of it was relational. Right. So it's much probably of it depends was, on the kid, the yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. So it's really sure. tough. Now Pat remembers. <laughs> sure, her um, IQ level. Yeah, is, she's, she's, you know, she's sharp. Yeah. She's up here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and you know, I'm down here trying to get into the triple digits. Sure. <laughs> um, but she's, you know, she remembers a lot of that. Yeah. And uh, I'm grateful for that. Yeah. So now, as a result, for parenting questions, they usually call you. Me refer wife. to Pat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, we'll uh, we'll put the number yeah. on the screen. Uh, so real quickly, real quickly, one thing you wouldn't want to pass on? Anger. Okay. I think that I wrestled with yeah. harshness. Yeah. Not anger, harshness. Harshness, yeah. Which usually was a result it's a of some anger. usually a manifestation yeah, of, yeah. of anger. Okay. Uh, to be specific. I, I think I was harsh. And, you know, Pat tried to help me with that and did mm -hmm. help me with that mm -hmm. because I didn't realize it was being harsh. Sure. I would say things. I can... You know, when I get irritated, I can bite, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, with my words mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, have a kind of a um, expressive type of a they can be personality, yeah. personality. Yeah. And I can be uber affectionate mm -hmm. and lauding with my words. Mm -hmm. Or I can be harsh mm -hmm. and, and with my words. And I, I think that that's what I would say. Yeah. I regret most about my parenting mm -hmm. when I would be harsh. Yeah. Now that's really helpful. And dads, I, I hope that that's encouraged you guys. I think those are really just, just simple, helpful attributes to, to pursue. And like you said, it's, it's really more about who you are. If you are those things, the actions begin to take care of themselves. Yeah. So I appreciate helping us continue to help us as parents. Uh, and I'll send everybody else to Pat and yeah. it'll be great. That's great. <laughs> yeah. uh, Church, we hope this has helped you. You know, whether you're a parent with little kids, a parent with older kids, or a grandparent, I think these are all, I mean, really, these are right, these are things that we would want to apply to the, the Christian life in yep. general. Amen. Uh, how much more are parenting? So thanks, Pastor, for serving us well in church. We'll see you guys next time on another episode of Living by the Book. Take care.